On March 27, NIO announced that the mass production version of the 900V electric drive system, EDS, called Thunder, had rolled off the production line. This occasion conveniently coincided with the manufacturing of the 1 millionth NIO ZDS. The upcoming NIO ET9 will be the brand's first vehicle to adopt the Thunder EDS. NIO has provided some details on the 900V Thunder EDS. First, the electric motors in the front and rear axle integrated into this electric drive system became 30% lighter, and their longitudinal size was reduced by 280 mm. The lighter weight improves the car's energy consumption, while the smaller size boosts the living space in the cabin. Neo mentioned that the ET9 uses the world's first 925 VW pin synchronous permanent magnet electric motor, which has a peak power output of 340 kW. Meanwhile, it weighs just 79 kilograms, resulting in a power density of 4.3 kilowatts per kilogram. In the front axle, the ET9 has an asynchronous induction motor with a peak power of 180 kilowatts. Its power density is 2.6 kilowatts per kilogram. NEO says it is the world's highest power density among asynchronous electric motors. The 900V Thunder EDS isn't just about electric motors and raw power. It utilizes the 1200V silicon carbide power module with a power density of 1,315 kilowatts per liter and can handle over 300,000 power cycles. It also has continuous wave winding technology that offers 86% of the motor's power. Last, but not least, the EDS features the revised liquid cooling system, which increases the motor's peak continuous power by 30%. Today, the first mass-produced 900V Thunder EDS has rolled off the production line. As mentioned, the first car to get this powertrain is the NIO ET9. It will enter the Chinese market in 2025. The NIO ET9 is the brand's flagship fastback, unveiled on NIO Day 2023 in December. It is already available for pre-order with a price of 800,000 yuan, 110,000 USD. Its deliveries are scheduled for Q1 2025. Its dimensions are 5324-2016-1620mm with a wheelbase of 3250mm. It has a 120 kilowatt hour battery on board. Its combined peak power output reaches 520 kilowatts or 697 horsepower. Inside, the NEO ET9 has four seats. Another feature is the active suspension that allows it to shake and dance. Previously, the NEO ET9 was seen in China during road tests. Hello and welcome back to EV's Queen, thank you for subscribing us. We provide the most recent and updated news about electric mobility every day. We're thrilled to introduce three unique membership levels on our channel, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers its own set of exclusive perks and content, perfectly suited for your passion for electric vehicles. As a member, you'll play a vital role in supporting our mission to deliver 12 engaging video updates daily about the latest in the electric vehicle world. Your membership not only helps sustain our efforts, but also brings you closer to the heart of the EV community. American Depository Receipts ADRs, of Chinese electric vehicle EV maker NIO NIO, fell in pre-market trading Wednesday after the company announced reductions to its first quarter delivery projections. NIO revised its projections to an expected 30,000 vehicle deliveries in the current quarter, down from its previous outlook of 31,000 to 33,000 vehicles. Point one, the EV maker delivered just over 50,000 vehicles in the previous quarter, and about 160,000 for all of fiscal 2023. The lowered projection would be a decrease from the first quarter of 2023, when NEO delivered 31,041 vehicles. The announcement from NEO comes less than a week after reports emerged that Tesla was cutting production at its factory in Shanghai over decreasing demand. Competition has increased in the EV market overall, and especially in China with homegrown companies like Xpeng and BYD, BYDDY, along with international competitors like Tesla. The EV market in China has also seen several companies like Tesla shift prices and offer other sales incentives in attempts to meet demand while maintaining profit margins. 
Mio and other Chinese companies have looked to potentially expand their reach to other regions like Europe, where they could likely sell vehicles without having to cut prices as much as they would in their home country. ADRs of NIO, which were down about 3.5% pre-market Wednesday, had lost about 43% of their value in the last 12 months through Tuesday, when they closed at $4.78. Thanks for watching.